Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm the Roku Guy. Welcome back to the Roku Guy channel. Just want to thank all the uh, recent subscribers. Very much appreciated. Today we're going to talk about DirecTV Now. DirecTV Now has brought out an early release on the Roku. They're offering Roku users one month free of their service, of their app. So I definitely recommend everyone to check it out, take advantage of the free trial. Today we're going to go into it a little bit. What you'll see is that I have the full set of channels. Um, they have a $35 option. It goes to about $70. They also have HBO and Cinemax for add-ons for about $8 a month. They give you a seven-day free trial for that. I opted not to take that because I didn't want to get into a situation where I might forget about it. Um, but I did want to take advantage of the 30-day. And for myself, I took all the channels for the $70 option because I wanted to see the whole channel lineup and decide for myself what's best for me or to not go DirecTV now at all. DirecTV now also offers a free Roku Premiere Plus if you prepay for two months of their service. So that would be about a $70 value if you opted for the $35 plan, which is still pretty much worth it. I, for the Premiere Plus, it runs about 100, 110, depending on the stores that you're looking for. So we're gonna go into DirecTV now, it's their early release. And it's kind of cool. Um, I would say there's you know, definitely differences between the direct TVs and the sling TVs, which will go. We're going to have an episode about all the different options that you have, like PlayStation View and YouTube. But today we're going to look at direct TV. And as you see right here, I got ESPN. Uh, it's outside the line design. Crystal clear picture. And I'm just going to mute the, uh, the TV here so that you don't have to uh, worry about hearing the commercials in the background. Oh. Let's go through this. So, really simple, when you hit the channel up, you will see your search, your guide, your watch list, and settings. Search, very simple. You click search, type in whatever you want. You can type in a channel, you can type in a TV show, you can type whatever you want. So let's say you were just watching something, and we're going to go through the channel lineup, you're saying, oh, I just remember the name, but I don't remember the channel is on. You can simply type in the name of the show, and it'll pop up from search. Once again, hitting the top up, go right to the guide. And now here's where you get to see your guide. So, it takes about a second to load as I've noticed which every time, not so bad. They have your all channels line up over here on the right hand side. You can simply scroll down. Now I got a ton of channels for the $70 package. You have FX, there's Fox, there's local TV networks as well. You tell them where you are located and they give you the local TV. MLB TV, MSNBC, they have Fox News and CNN, multiple channels, MSNBC as well, OAN and One American News as well. Really a nice channel lineup. They have given me stars. I'm not sure if it's part of the free trial or if it's actually part of the $70 package, but I believe it's just part of the free trial. And of course, all your major networks like Sci-Fi, TNT, and TBS. So obviously, there's a lot of channels, right? Don't want to scroll through all of them every single time I need to look. And unfortunately, Roku has not come out yet with something that I can skip back and forth. But DirecTV gives you an opportunity to look at your favorite channels. You simply do that by hovering over the heart. You can see the heart is just a little bit blue, and I can hit select, and now the blue is filled in, which becomes my favorite channel. All channels, go down to favorite channels, and now I have my list of favorite channels. Right now I have the sports lineup, more or less, but as you can see, now TNT is also included on that, and I can remove that anytime I want by simply unclicking or clicking the heart. So kind of cool, so let's go right back into ESPNs and see what they're doing. So that was when you hit the channel up. Channel down gives you a whole another set of features. You can now see your home screen. You can see what's on now, you can continue watching if you'd like. You can create a watch list and some recommendations as well from DirecTV. What's on now? Simply scroll through. You can choose whatever you like. It's personal recommendations. My guess is based on my favorite channels. They're showing me what's on those channels. Shows. If you wanted to watch TV shows, this is all on demand. You will have to see some ads, as everything that you see through DirecTV is a TV. It's not separate like HBO 
where you get movies separate. So, the genius, ancient aliens, all the good talk shows, and late night shows as well. Going back, simply hit the back button, and you can go right back into your main screen. Once again, hitting down, go to the movies. And as you can see, I can go through all these movies that are available for you to watch. Now, the thing about the movies are, you will have to watch ads. These are mostly FX movies or modified to fit your TV, but you can watch these movies with some ads free of charge. And lastly, your networks. All the networks that you have, that you've subscribed to, will be listed here. So as opposed to having to go through your whole entire guide, you can actually just simply scroll through here and check out all your networks. Unsubscribe it. Well, I have it, Cinemax, HBO, Stars. All of these are available for you for about seven or eight dollars. I believe the stars that they've given me is part of the free trial. Hit back, and right again, you are back out. It's a really simple app. It's not so bad. You can create a watch list for yourself. You got your settings, which basically allows you to repeat shows after the next, you know, so that the next episode plays after you're finished. And your guide system, which really gives you a nice array of channels that you can view from with your friends and family and get some good television I have to say Disney Destination Discovery all these good channels you can get for 30 days free you don't have to pay for anything check it out for the summer if you decide you you like the direct TV lineup versus the other systems like Sling TV you can get yourself a free Roku Premier Plus by simply just paying two months in advance so that's all for about DirecTV. I thank you guys all for uh, checking in for this YouTube and again for everyone who's recently subscribed. Happy streaming everybody. Take care YouTube.